she makes coming to work just that much better. Like I don't, I just know when I see her, like she's gonna have a smile on her face, she's gonna have something positive to say. She's just like overall like a really amazing person to be around. I feel very lucky every day to be able to work with her. I started kindergarten at Columbus East and while I was there Columbus West was being built and finished and it was finished on time for me to start first grade there. And I was there from first grade to third. Then I went back to Columbus East um, and I was there from fourth, fifth, and sixth. For seventh and eighth grade, I went to Unity. I graduated in 2006. I think of her in like two ways. I think of her as how she interacts with like her coworkers and then her knowledge of students and her love for students. Having Elvia as my grade level partner as my next door neighbor has been amazing. She's been super helpful. She's super supportive. She is super flexible if we have ideas. She's always like down to do them. She never, I just have never seen her be negative. I used to just play teacher with my older sister, um, with both my older sisters. And from there, I think it just kind of spiraled into wanting to be that teacher that I wanted in school and wanting to be there for for my community and come back and, and help them out. She just like loves her kids. She knows so much about them. She always is coming up with different ways on how to make her classroom engaging, how to support her kids socially and emotionally. My first official year of teaching after I substituted um, for months, which I loved going to all the different schools in Cicero, was at Columbus West, again with fifth grade. So the same um, fifth grade team that I student taught with, I ended up teaching with my first year. At Columbus West, I actually worked with my third grade teacher there, Julie Kowalski. Um, and I will forever call her either Julie Kowalski or Mrs. Kowalski. I just can't call her Julie. And even here, Miss DeLevy was my fifth grade teacher. So I work with so many of my, of my teachers that I had growing up. I think that's what makes her a great teacher is that she looks at her students as if like doesn't matter where you come from, doesn't matter your background, like I want you to be successful and I'm here to foster that for them. But she also knows a lot of stuff that goes on in the neighborhood so she can be sympathetic to anything that's positive or like any tragedies that may happen. She always knows exactly what's going on so she can support her kids in that way as well. Growing up I wasn't a straight A student. Um, I struggled a lot. As a teacher, I constantly ask the kids, like, do you understand it? Do I need to work with you more? And I try to, you know, reach out to them more than when I was growing up. Elvia, congratulations on being D99's very own. They are so lucky to have you in this community and to continue your awesome teaching um, for all the kids that live in Cicero. Elvia, we are so proud of you on getting this special award. You are the most kindest person I know and creative, smart, and a great friend. Congratulations, Elvia! I remember crossing paths with Elvia at Drexel School and learning that I was her teacher 18 years ago at Columbus East, and now we're colleagues at Warren Park, and it's great. Congratulations, Elvia. Congratulations, Elvia. Uh, it was a blessing to have you in third grade. Look how cute you are and I was privileged to work with you as a colleague. You are an awesome teacher and your students are lucky to have you. Well, baby, I wanted to congratulate you on your award tonight. Uh, I know all the sacrifices that you make being a full-time teacher and also a full-time mom, but I know it ain't easy going to work and, and teaching a classroom full of young, young moms, young kids, but I know you always do that with a smile, man. I know you come home and and teach this little guy, and you also do that with a smile on your face. So, so I'm very grateful for that.